Once upon a time, a monk was sitting under a tree on the bank of a river and was preaching to his disciples. Master monk always used to explain to his disciples while giving sermons that in this world every single person should not condemn anyone. By doing this, a person becomes a partner of sin, which is always a lost deal for life. This always harms you. After hearing these words of the master monk, his disciples asked him, Master, how do we become a partner of sin by condemning someone? Then master monk says to his disciples, For this, I tell you a story. Listen to this story very carefully. Once upon a time, there used to be a king in a kingdom. His nature and qualities were very good. He always tried to do the same that because of him all people can be benefited all the people can be helped one day that king was returning from another state while returning he saw on the way that many poor hungry and destitute people were sitting on the road they were suffering a lot from hunger many people were also handicapped seeing all this scene the king felt very sad then he comes back thinking only about them the whole way. After coming to the palace, the king discusses the matter with his minister. He tells the minister that I have seen such people on the way. There are many people in this estate who do not even have food. What should we do now? After all, what can we do to help them? The minister thinks for a while and then suggests to the king that why not? Do as much as possible every day. Poor people should be fed food so that their stomach can also be filled. At least we can do this much. The king likes this suggestion of the minister very much and they announce this in the entire state that whoever is hungry and poor person, they can come to this palace every day and have food and in the same way King used to feed the people every day as much as he could. This work continued for many months. One day, on the birthday of the king, he made many good dishes so that everyone can eat happily. But unfortunately, poisonous creatures fall in one of the food prepared by the cooks, due to which that whole food becomes contaminated and poisonous. And this food is served with all purposes. But no one is aware of this incident. Then everyone eats that food. After some time of eating, there is a sudden noise. People start crying. Then it is known that all those poor people have died. Poison has been found within everyone. And the king gets surprised as soon as he gets this news. He doesn't understand how this happened after all. Then after a complete investigation, it is found that a poisonous organism had fallen in one of the food items and everyone starts calling it the negligence of the king. The king is convicted because of democracy, because of which the king feels very sad and he also starts thinking himself guilty. After that day, the king always remains in this sorrow, thinking that this whole accident happened because of him. He started getting very upset and one day he leaves the palace to repent for this. On the way, the king reaches another kingdom and on the way, he sees many people under a tree. He goes there and asks whether such people live here who are very religious and believe in devotional practice. All the people sitting under the tree hear the words of the king and say that, yes, there are such people here and they give him the address of his house. The king goes there and sees that two elderly couples live alone. People seem very devotional. If seen, they had spent their whole life in devotional practice. Then the king asked him if he could stay here for one night because it was evening outside and it was not right to travel in this unknown path. Hearing these words of the king, both of them keep the king with them, feed them and make arrangements for the king to sleep. 
Next morning, when the king wakes up, he sees that both the elders are doing all the work outside their house. And after completing the job, they sat in devotion, engaged in meditation. The king observes them very carefully. After a while, the meditation of the old man is completed, but his wife sits in this meditation for a long time. If seen, that day also passes, but in the whole day, all the worries and sorrows of the king go away. He feels very relaxed by going there. That is why the king stays there for a few days after requesting that old man. The king does all his works, helps him. After a few days, that old man realizes that the king is a soft-hearted person. He is a good person. But gradually this news of accident spreads in the whole village. The people sitting under that tree say very bad things to the king. Then gradually this matter reaches the ears of the old man. One day, the king decided to leave that place. While thinking, he saw that the old woman was speaking something in her husband's ear. It seemed that the old woman was speaking about that king only. The woman was saying that some king had given food to the poor. After eating that food, all the people died. Now that king is wandering from place to place to repent for his mistake. Everyone is blaming him. Hearing these things, the elderly husband asks his wife whether he had done all this knowingly. Then woman says, No, it was an accident. Then her husband asks, Who was at fault? The wife says, in fact, it was an accident, and if seen, the king was a very good person. He always helped people. Who knew that something like this would happen? It is the fault of those people who are blaming the king, who are saying bad things about him. Hearing these words of the old man, the king tells him that I am the king. I am the king of the kingdom about whom people are saying. Then the king understands that. He should not have left his kingdom. Whatever the mistake, this happened unknowingly. It was just an accident. After that, the king goes to his kingdom after taking permission from the elderly couple. Friends, this story teaches us that knowingly or unknowingly, no one should be condemned in life. No matter what the incident is, it should be fully understood why it happened how it happened because condemning someone without thinking is never a good idea it is not appropriate and those who do this only and only become a part of sin they not only commit sin but also bear the fruits of sinful deeds done by other person so save yourself from committing this sin before condemning someone think about whether he was really wrong whether his deeds were really wrong. In this story, the king's deeds were never wrong. He was always doing good deeds. And unfortunately, an accident happened. So seeing that accident, we should take lessons and move forward only and only. That is why we should never condemn anyone in life. If we do this, then we take their fault on ourselves. Because Without knowing the truth, we thoughtlessly hurt others, blame others. That's why, before blaming others, one must see their deeds. Friends, what did you learn from this story? And what is your opinion? Please leave a comment. Do you know, your one comment can change someone's life. Thanks for watching. Stay happy and stay peace.